keep this cabinet locked in so that when I'm traveling, it's much more secure. Going around corners and stuff, it's not perfect, but it's still better than not being strapped down. This was one of the pieces that I was waiting for, and it actually said it wouldn't be here until April 8th. It's not the most important piece, but it is one of the pieces, and I have one other piece to load up, and then we're going to go and see Fred. This is one of the 36 inch, 36 inch, 36 inch drawer slides. It says it weighs 22 pounds, which even that feels really heavy for me to pick up. Okay, let's go and see Fred. Good morning from the tiny element yet again. This is March. 19th okay and as you can see in the back there everything is out again and that is the last two pieces for my build which i can't even believe they said they weren't going to be here till april 8th everything is here fred's got a gap between bigger jobs so i'm going to go see him and we're going to get this build done soon let's go Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Yeah, we're back again with Fred. He's going to show us some track saw work. So let's get on with the build. Track saw is just a big track. This mm -hmm. is an eight footer. And so it's got, this is where the saw rides on. And then on the bottom, it's got kind of like rubber feet or strips. Uh huh. So what that does is when you flip it over, it's not, it won't slide. Right. So you don't need any clamps. Oh, cool. So how this works is on a fresh piece of plywood this edge is factory and you always want to cut it off because there might be a dent or a ding oh so i just set the track at about five millimeters from the end and then i take my saw which is cordless and then it rests here and then when i start it up it'll cut perfectly straight along this track without... and remove all the imperfections yep. like even here it's like missing mm -hmm parts of its layers and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Wow. And so you'll get a crisp, clean edge. And, and then, light and not like, cause you know when you were staining that last piece when I was here, yeah. there was a bit of dark in it and that was from it being dirty or bumped or mm -hmm. something. Yeah. So then you start and have a nice crisp edge. So then you do your layout work for all the rest of your cuts and you use this as your reference edge. So cool. it makes it nice. Nice. So this one here, it's a slide rule. Mm -hmm. it has, it has inches and millimeters. So, like I said, at five millimeters, I'll set it at five. Mm -hmm. Then I'll, that's how I'll make my mark. Oh. And then I set the track right on those marks. How very fancy. That's a and fancy then, tool. It's a fancy one. Then this one's basically the same thing, but it's called a combination square, because mm -hmm. it does 45s or, or 90s. But what I like Sick. about this is it has this little pin, Yeah. so I can mark, mm -hmm. and if I cut right in line, it's easier to see this scratch actually than it is a pencil are you serious yeah wow so it's kind of cool very cool and so looking back at fred's had a change in in that thoughtfulness about the clown so let's talk about that again fred so on the refrigerator slide out cabinet we're gonna cut out the sides for ventilation mm -hmm. and that's gonna help the cabinet actually lose some weight yeah so on the big cabinet that's gonna have the big dual drawers I was thinking of doing the same thing, but on the floor, because you'll never see it. You, you want the side structure for where the bed's yeah. going to go, but it'll lose some weight by not having a solid floor. That's brilliant. And it'll just, it's still going to be strong. But it's going to, it's going to reduce the weight. That is mm -hmm. so excellent, because that's my payload, yeah. which is, you know, gas costs money. Yep. Here's where Fred is today. Today is what, March 20th, Fred? Is today March 20th, do you think? I know. I'm and he was, I know, right? These are the pocket screws that keep it very stable. These are the cutouts that we were talking about for ventilation, as well as Fred did consider the weight. So he cut out the bottoms of this cabinet to make it lighter. He also cut out the side of this one so that there's lots of ventilation for the fridge because the 
vents for the fridge are on the side. The drawer of the fridge too will also sit up higher here so that it can vent through there and then the other drawers will be in here. So guys, this is how it's looking so far. Furniture <laughs> for my car. Oh, Thank yeah. you, Fred. You're welcome. <laughs> As you can tell, first you... This is hardwood cherry and we're heading down. And this is plywood veneer cherry. Okay. So it's got cherry veneer on the outside and plywood in the middle. So Fred's going to demonstrate what for us right now? Uh, how the pocket screws hold the two pieces of wood together for mm -hmm. strength and durability. Okay. Okay, so what I'm going to do is drill the holes in here and then attach it to this piece of hardwood. So I'm going to do three holes and then once they're done again, I'm going to attach it and then you'll see how strong it is. Okay. Look at how slick that is and the screws just go right in there. Mm -hmm. So let me get some screws pushed. I use a square drive drill bit, mm -hmm. and it goes in the head of the screw, and it's a really positive grip, so it won't okay. strip. Okay. So you line up your edge. Mm -hmm. You take your, your your screw and drill. Impact driver. Okay. Now that. I don't wow. care how strong you are. There's not wow. move at all. So that, and I don't. Have, don't I'm not even going to have to like re-screw those mm -mm. or re-drill them in. Oh my gosh. So, so yep, this build is going to be uh, not avalanche, uh, not volcanic. Uh, what do they call it? Earthquake. earthquake <laughs> it's yeah. going to be well. It's going to be avalanche and all those things yep. too. <laughs> and so how you hide the screws so you don't see them like. If this was the bottom of the mm -hmm. cabinet, that's what it would be. If right. this is the top of the cabinet, this would be the inside of the cabinet, so uh -huh. you don't really see inside. Yeah. So you strategically place all your screws so you don't see them. For prettiness. For prettiness. Yeah. Um, it's called Groo Glue. It's kind of a oh, yeah. kangaroo. But they make a glue that's for melamine and uh, and uh, the, the wood I'm using to pre-finish. So it actually kind of grabs onto the surface. Okay. So I could use some of that on that. And that, that would but help. do you really even think we need glue for my build? No, no because not, it's not, not with that. No, because right. that is so durable, super mm -hmm. strong. This is called the Craig Micro Jig. So uh -huh. these holes are drilled with a smaller drill bit. And that's what you used to for use? Make drawer boxes. Uh huh. So I still have it. Yeah. But for doing big cabinet stuff, I use that now because it's. Well, so this fast. one seems more production line yeah. friendly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Fred. Fred, you have everything that you need, I to, have everything I need yes. to play today, to play build a tiny camper. <laughs> oh. Fred's just checking the other slide to make sure it's okay. So that box says it weighs 22 pounds. Yeah, it's pretty yeah. So we know that the big slides weigh 22 pounds, and I'm going to guess that the smaller one weighs 19 or 20. Yeah, well, so maybe, maybe 16. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's one, two, and the bolts. Beautiful. We got it. And this, let's see, we got that one. Get on it. <laughs> and I'll try not to move. Oh yeah, that looks like for cutting our uh, meat. <laughs> It's like a serrated machete. Mm -hmm. Oh no! We'll have to order the hinge again. 
This guy cutting half the saw. <laughs> with his hacksaw. <laughs> with his serrated machete knife. In fact, this is a Japanese pole saw. Is it? So it's uh, instead of the push stroke, uh -huh, you pull. Pole stroke. Okay. So when you're cutting, you can follow your line. That's interesting. I've never heard of one. And it cuts through wood and butter. Yeah, and cardboard. There okay, there we go. Nice one. Did I do good? Yes, you did. Oh, good. Look so at me. I don't even know what I'm doing. Any size we need. Yay. And it's plenty for both of them because we Yay. have two little foot blades. Uh huh. So and then whatever's left over is yours. <laughs> Peace okay, out. peace and love and chicken grease, or peace out, yeah. <laughs> so Fred has everything he needs today to start playing, start make, to make, play Naked Time Captain today. Mm -hmm. How fun is this going to be? be? I'm fun. so excited to see it, Fred. Thank I like you. using my toys. Yeah, I, I like it too. <laughs> oh my God, regular gas, 465, plus 476, premium, 487. Ugh. Let's just see how much this is going to cost. Zeroed out my odometer, so we'll just see. $55. Oh, okay, that's not very fun to road trip. All right, so that was $55 for 11.86 gallons of gas. That's... I haven't paid those prices for years, so my road trip's gonna be damn expensive. Oh. Hello! I've been with them and have already referred to my band as a <laughs> Oh, it happens. From inside the tiny camper van, today riding shotgun with me is shit from inside of my house. Still clearing it out. Uh, today is March 14th, I think, and I've got the I've got the house full of the children of the buses, and I'm just gonna go and do another Goodwill run here. Let's see if I can. Yeah, there you go. Oh my God. Yes, and the tiny element is set up the way it was before, which we'll explain. In front of my car here, let me just show you the madness that has come out of my house as I back out here. Look at that, oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. And not too white trash. Yeah, that's going to the dump. flip you around here and just show you the car you know <laughs> except they wouldn't take this chair it's really weird they would take a chair last time so now I gotta get groceries <laughs> got some hillbilly living garbage right there You look like a truck hit you. You guys don't care about what they're saying. You want to see the decorations and the ambiance of base camp. You see this bouquet? I picked that from my garden. Right there. Mm -hmm. Welcome back, knees and toes. Oh. <laughs> Look at that hair. I was busted, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I just got busted. 
Look at scared, those. Bro? Would you get that with your feet? Huh? <laughs> I stole these. <laughs> he's got he's got another one uh, on his middle leg too. <laughs> that That's mullet so grew out perfect. I, you know your <laughs> mullet. Oh God, Fabio. <laughs> Okay, sit down and narrate The Bachelor for us, would you? Base camp. This is Barborg. Barborg. We tried to make him French. Look at that camera. Look at this tripod. Oh my goodness. He's setting up for a live. Gorgeous. Sunday afternoon. Checking, checking. Testing, testing, testicles. All right. Oh, I was gonna send you a super chat, but I can't yet. Oh wait, I got one right here. It's not one time. Bart, five dollars, five dollars, uh, nine dollars, nine dollars in, in, in red here. Put in my chat. Five dollar Bart. <laughs> no, but I actually there thought about. Go. I thought about that super chat. Um, <laughs> thank you, Mindy. You're welcome. <laughs> from my base camp to yours. So much love from all.